All right, so I'm finally out shooting again. This is my Polymer 80. I uh, just trying more trial and error. My uh, last video, I had my front sight pop off. Um, so I went and got a new one, locked tied to that in place. So hopefully um, it's all good there. Uh, I'm gonna be playing around with the uh, Mantis X uh, app today. I've played around with it quite a bit with Live Fire, but I've not done um, with, or uh, Dry Fire, but I've not done Live Fire yet. So today I'm just gonna be out here just plinking around, just uh, checking functionality of the pistol and also playing around with the app. <clears throat> Ten rounds loaded in the mag, all ten shot without issue. Mag is empty, slide held back. Uh, playing around with that Mantis X thing, uh, it's pretty neat. It's actually uh, seeming to work pretty well. Um, so that is my third ten rounds. So I've went through thirty rounds so far in this session of shooting uh, without any issue whatsoever. Oh, my target went sideways on me. Okay, that time, I might have been riding the slide up. There is a round there, just a not chamber. I'm going to try and hit the side release. Yep, I think I was just riding the slide, holding it up. Locked it into place. <clears throat> Okay, so that last uh, mag that I was shooting, I wasn't recording, um, but there was one failure to eject. Um, the casing just got stuck halfway out of that slide or whatever. Um, now I am noticing it is functioning well overall, but the ejection pattern, so I'm holding it here, and it's like coming back and like hit me in the face or like my left shoulder. So it is not ejecting out to the right as it should. I'm using 115 grain uh, federal FMJs. Yeah, see that one just went about seven feet straight in front of me. So, I mean, Overall, the gun is cycling well. The ejection pattern is every direction possible. Uh, like anywhere, it's within like a seven to eight foot radius around me. It is going all over the place. All right, so I'm, I've went through all of my 100 rounds today. I only had one issue and that was a failure to eject. As I said earlier, the casing got stuck, like right here. I uh, just didn't fully eject all the way. Um, the gun is cycling well. I did put a little bit of oil on it before shooting today. It's been a while since I've shot it. Um, seems like my front side is still nice and tight, so that's that's good news. Um, I, just, I don't understand why, why the ejection pattern is so sporadic, though. I mean, I'm glad that the gun is functioning way better than what it was um but the ejection pattern is like i, I can't even find a pile because it's all over the place <laughs> so um i gotta figure out what that is but it looks like the gun is working better than what it was okay now something as i was picking up some of my brass that i was noticing with the brass is let me see if i can get this in focus here hopefully They're all getting uh, 
little scuff on it here. Let's see one that's maybe a little bit more prominent here. Here we go. Here's a little bit more extreme example of it. Okay, see down here? The very bottom right there. There's that scuff. You can see where the brass is shiny. And it's, the cartridge is dented in some. See that? It's not perfectly round. It's dented in a little bit. There you go. You can see it a little bit there. Um, so there's a consistent pattern of a scuff and it's dented in. Just the ejected shell. Now uh, here's another, another one. See it's dented in. And there's that scuff on the brass right there. And it's dented in. So I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if maybe that has something to do with the uh, weird ejection pattern or what. But I did notice that. So if anyone has any ideas, uh, please let me know. Now uh, you can see it really well from back here. How uneven that is. Um, and that's consistent throughout the box of 100 I shot today. So if you have any ideas uh, what that could be, uh, please let me know. Thank you.